Hello, everyone. This is Ryan from Safe Easy Tech, and today we are talking about how to turn on parental controls for UVerse. So, I figured uh, lots and lots of people have UVerse. It's one of the big two out there as far as what people have for TV. So, great topic to talk about. Not a lot of people realize that you do have to do a little bit of setup outside of the box. There are some channels, um, some adult channels, and maybe just some other stuff in general that maybe isn't straight up adult, but there's stuff you don't want your kids to watch or you don't want them to see as a temptation as they're scrolling past um, uh, looking for other stuff to watch and, and that kind of thing. So we're going to talk about how to turn on the parental controls. It's not going to take very long. It's actually really, really easy, but you do have to know where to go. So the first thing you're going to do, whether on your guide or whatever, is on your little remote that they provide you with, you hit the menu button. And on the menu, you're gonna go over to options. Let me go over to options here. And if you're on the options screen like I am here, it's actually the second option, parental controls. And if you happen to hit, I'll just go back for a second. If you're in something else, let's say you go down too far and you hit something else. As you see on the top part of the screen here, you can actually um, go across all these different things, so um, or you can back out if you still can't get to the right thing. But it's under channel options in this menu as well. So there's a couple different ways to get to it, just in case you end up in the wrong area. So you click on parental controls, and it's gonna have you create a three digit pin. So you go ahead and do that, and then you confirm it. And here are your options. So there's actually a pretty good degree of control in this and what you can do. So the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and select to lock out adult programs. So that means the four digit pin that I created has to be put in uh, to actually look at the titles, the descriptions, anything like that. So I want to save that. And then also too, you can do things like lock out purchases, um, you can go lock out things that are set by the US TV parental guidelines. So this is the rating system. So if you do not want um, your kids to watch specific things on TV, for example, let's say you have HBO and you don't mind them watching movies, but you don't want them watching things like Game of Thrones when you're not around. So you could block out TV MA and that will block out those kinds of things. So you just set the rating basically that you're okay with. You have to enter in the pin manually for each show. So that's how that one works. The channels option lets you block out specific channels. So um, for normal channels, if there's a channel that has certain shows on it that you know just aren't that great, maybe they're not rated, it's not rated uh, in a rating that would be blocked out, but maybe it's just content that you just don't want your kids um, watching for whatever reason, you can go through and you can choose that specific channel and you can unlock everything in bulk if you need to. If you can't find the channel you're wanting to unlock and you're like, man, where it's at? Where, where? Sorry, that's poor grammar. Where is it at? Then you can go through and you can uh, unlock it from there. You can do the same thing with purchases. So you can make it where no one can spend any money without you knowing it. That's a very useful tool because sometimes they do make it when you search for specific shows by the name in UVerse particularly it'll pull up on demand options as well. So if it's not coming on TV, it'll say, hey, it's not on TV, but you can buy it right here. And, um, you know, they make it really easy for you to just think that you're watching a movie and then you jump in and you've spent, you know, four bucks or five bucks, whatever, downloading a movie straight to your DVR. So um, that's a great way to prevent that from happening, even for you as a parent, um, just in case you're, you know, it's a late night, you're not totally paying attention, but you don't want to be dropping, you know, five dollars on a movie every time. So that's a good little catch for you as well. Movie ratings works the same way as TV ratings. Time locking is a cool little uh, tool where you can actually lock out your entire DVR for specific times. So you just go down to the day, and you know that you know four uh, a.m. to nine a.m. is when we're getting ready for church or whatever it may be then you can go and click that on there. You can apply it across every day. So maybe you just know, hey, at 11 o'clock every night, we don't watch TV as a family. Um, so you can apply that to all days of the week and go from there. Some really cool parental controls in here. And then down here at the very bottom, 
uh, is unrated content. So this is content that just doesn't have a rating at all. A lot of times it means it was made um, before they did ratings. Sometimes it means it's like a documentary or something like that, which you, you may or may not want. I mean, there are some documentaries about stuff that you don't want your kids to watch too. So that one might be useful to you also. So that's how that whole process works. And uh, to get back in, once you create your pin, then you have to enter the four digit pin to be able to get in. So you at least, if nothing else, want to create your pin, even if you don't block anything out. Just so you don't have a kid get in there and they accidentally lock you out of your own DVR, then you got to do a reset on it, which you can do in the back, but um, is sometimes a pain. So that's it's that simple. That's how you do it on your TV. This isn't on the computer. Uh, we might cover that in another video. Uh, if you're interested in that and you want to see how to do it on your computer as well or on your uh, phone, if you're watching stuff through the UVerse app, then let me know in the comments below. But Otherwise, uh, that is how you set up parental controls on your UVerse DVR. And I've been Ryan, and you're set. Uh, so over half of apps are actually found by searching in the Google Play Store. Um, they're not word of mouth. They're not seen on something else. Um, and they're just done by searching. So I'm going to start a search here, and I did one earlier when I was doing some tests. So let's just look for shooting games here. And I'm going to click on the very first one that I see. And so right off the bat, there's some really great information that you as parents can look at and can see.